This is Ray's Parallel Magnetic 1. I'd made a Ray's Right Angle Magnetics. You can watch that. It's the same setup. But the forces of magnetic fields were at right angles. This design and setup are parallel magnetic fields. If you go back and watch the right angle magnetics, this one is going almost twice as fast and also it's using less current. This and uh, uh, show a, a 0.06, 0.08. But uh, the one right angle magnetics, it was more of a 0.07 to 0.08. This one shows a 0.06, which shows better efficiency and also you can tell it's running faster. Briefly, this should not be happening. Stationary magnetic fields should not produce usable energy. What happens when I start taking away the stationary magnets? Running slower. stopping. I have the power set that it just does not run the motor. We're going to go into the principles and theory of why I think this is actually working. Briefly I must say that the system as a whole, the resultant, is not over unity and self-running. But a portion of the cycle within that cycle is free energy. I do not have to do anything with part of the cycle. I can show that. I'll take the power, the signal of magnets away, and you can see that from that point this is what naturally is there now if I would add another battery to this and put more voltage to it then it would start running or if I had some kind of solar power device and do the same thing or I had a, uh, an air blast I could uh, make this go but that's adding power to it so as I said earlier magnetic stationary magnetic fields should not be able to produce that normally when they pull together, then they lock sideways and opposite. And there's just as much power coming together as pulling apart. Net result, nothing. But this, it seems to be that the net result of the added stationary magnetic fields is to the plus side. Okay. I'll go ahead and set up the theory and demonstration of the principles behind what I think this is using. Okay, part of the cycle is using a principle not well known or understood. I have a north, I have a south. They attract. That's true in the middle. But if we come into the uh, side, you can see that we have a repulsion of unlike faces. Normally unlike faces will attract but in this situation you can see that on the outside of the edge it repels. So this is producing part of the lift on the uh, cycle. Okay. The other principle is a solenoid effect. I have the south and I have a north. This is called a side-mounted side monopole. I've covered monopoles in other videos. I have the south here. That means the opposite side is north. So this bar is north polarized on both sides. So it's a north. So south and north. So let's see what happens when I place that to the edge. See that pull across there? It's quite a strong force, really. I thought, boy, if you could uh, access even a part of that. The problem is, or was, that the 
force that's going across is also the same force which to either slide it back or pull it away. I'm working with different levels of magnetics. I call this the first level, which is near to the, uh, the face of the magnet, and I'll show that in just a little bit. But I'm, I'm using a secondary, secondary level of magnetics at the moment, and I'll explain that. But at the secondary uh, level, we have this uh, solenoid effect. Okay. Now I've covered the first and second level magnetics in other videos also. Okay, we'll go ahead and demonstrate the first level magnetics. So we have our south, and I'm going to be using the north, and of course, right in the middle that they do, they attract, unlike forces, but watch when I move it off the center. See that? Now there's a strong, very strong solenoid effect. I can do that in any direction. So this is the other uh, principle that my device is using also, the solenoid effect. And, and it does work up in the second level, but I was wanting to show you the difference here. What's happening is that in the first level magnetics, the north and the south uh, interacting forces are so strong that I've never been successful at making anything that would have any kind of a free energy or over unity effect. It's only in the second level magnetics where the, the face here is very strong interacting with both forces. But if you come up from the face of the magnet, then it's more of a pure field. It's more of a south field up here. The uh, north is uh, interacting down here a lot stronger. So up in here, you're able to access some of these uh, phenomena of uh, uh, free energy and a reunity effects. So I'm using both of those in my device. I'll go back to the device and we'll go through the cycle and you'll be able to see more clearly. We have a set, of course, this did not quite run. We'll start adding the magnets. Add the second top magnet. Goes faster. Okay. The lower magnet, starting with the plane of right angle, the middle of the rotor magnet is basically at the middle of the bottom magnet. Therefore, that part is more of a solenoid effect. The edges, as we showed earlier, that now has a lifting effect. Now we're coming into the next top layer, the top magnetic field, and it has a little bit of lifting effect at this edge, but then as it moves in from the edge to the center, more or less, then it has a uh, solenoid effect. So that's the cycle there. Also, I wanted to show that part of this cycle, this is without any of the stationary magnets. There's that much going on. Okay, that's it. Now, if we start adding these magnets, we have enough free energy put into part of that cycle to keep it going. So I did not have to pay for this part. So just to go over that again, I thought that was very uh, unique. So thank you for watching. I thought this new setup, because it, it runs faster than the old right angled magnetics, and it uses less power, and it had some new principles because we were using parallel magnets. I thought it was worth making a video. Uh, you can experiment with these. You will be fascinated with it. And perhaps you can take it to a next step, improve on it. 
Thank you for watching.